Hey, Rimbo here, and how are you? Welcome to my YouTube channel. So the last time I was on, I did a video on the uh, Harley Davidson Pan America. I'm gonna talk about it again here shortly, um, but I didn't go over specifications, and that's why I'm doing kind of a part two for this and comparing directly, like directly comparing the uh, Harley Davidson Pan America with the Ducati Multistrada V4S. So let's take a look and see what we come up with. You know, there's been a lot of talk about the Harley Davidson Pan America, what a great bike it is. I did a very recent review and uh, had very favorable results, to be quite honest with you. But one thing that I did not do uh, in my review is really take a look a little bit deeper at the numbers. So let's take a look at some of the numbers here concerning the Pan America by Harley Davidson, the first year ever that they're coming out with this adventure bike versus the new Ducati Multistrada V4. Again, this is by the numbers. All right. Let's look at some comparison specs. Harley Davidson, the seat height is 31.1 inches versus 33.1 with the Ducati. Now you'd say, hey, that's a two inch difference. Well, the difference is that Harley Davidson is giving you that number with a 180 pound rider sitting on the bike. So it's probably not the two inch spread that you think. However, on a good thing, uh, Harley Davidson has the ability for the seat to lower whenever you come to a stop. The seat lowers as you take off, the seat goes back up. The Multistrada V4S does have options for lower seats and higher seats if you're a really tall guy or girl, but uh, if you just go by the numbers, it looks like there's a two inch difference, but that is not the case. What I will tell you is I drove both of these and um, or rode both of them and I found them to be very comparable, especially since I have a 32 inch inseam and weigh about 185 pounds um, and I'm five foot 11. So very little difference between the two, uh, but the Harley Davidson was definitely a little bit lower. All right, wheelbase, they're both looking almost exactly the same, 62.2 versus 61.7. So they're both in that 158 uh, centimeter range. Now, fuel capacity, again, really, really close, 5.6 gallons versus 5.8, 21 liters versus 22, uh, very, very comparable. Now, one of the things that Harley-Davidson does is they do give you uh, an estimated fuel consumption of 46 miles to the gallon. Now, I will tell you from experience, uh, riding my bike uh, to work, going on long trips, when I average everything out, I'm literally in the 32, 33 range. Now, if you're a pretty smooth sailor and you're not really tough on your right wrist, I think that you can pull off some really good numbers here, especially if you don't do a lot of stop and go traffic like I do. I have gotten as f up as high as almost 50 miles to the gallon, uh, and I've broken the 40 a couple of times. But typically, once I get back into traffic or I start using the bike the way it's designed and really and just riding it, riding it hard, um, don't expect to get really much more than 30 miles to the gallon with the Multistrada. Curb weight, uh, in classic Harley-Davidson fashion, they are the heavier bike. Uh, that's just the way they're built. I think sometimes they intentionally make things <laughs> a little heavier. So 559 pounds, 253 kilograms versus the Ducati Multistrada, 546 pounds or 243 kilograms. Now, the ground clearance is also really close. You have 8.3 inches on the Harley versus the 8.6 on a Ducati Multistrada. And by the way, I am comparing the Ducati Multistrada V4S. Now, concerning tires, they're pretty much exactly the same. They have both have 19-inch front, 17-inch rears. They both have 120-70s in the front and 170-60s in the back. So really 
no surprise here, very comparable as far as the size is concerned. Next thing, let's look at the engine. This is brand new for Harley, this new Revolution Max 1250, which has a displacement of displacement of 1250 cubic centimeters or 76 cubic inches versus the Ducati uh, Gran Turismo V4. That's an 1158 cc's, a little bit smaller, 71 cubic inches. And there is a difference in the compression ratio. They both have high compression, but Harley's at a 13.0 to 1 versus a uh, Ducati 14.0 to 1. I think that's kind of expected. Exhaust, I put this in here, but really, you know, Harley has to be, well, they don't have to be, but they're a 2 to 1. Pretty, pretty much they have to be in order to be a, a, a adventure bike. Uh, two to one and the catalyst is in the header. Uh, on Ducati, it comes with a stainless steel muffler and it has a double catalyst. Really no big deals there because a lot of aftermarkets uh, are providing uh, exhaust options uh, for these bikes. All right, let's look more into the engine specs, all right? And I call these the boring bores because this to me is boring. I don't really see the reason for this unless you're a real motorhead and you plan on changing your engine or something. Uh, 4.13 by 2.84 for the Harley versus a 3.27 by a 2.1 inch uh, on a Ducati for the people in the advanced countries who actually use... Uh, the metric system like we should have been using here in the United States since the 70s, but we don't. Uh, and that's coming from a guy who spent almost his entire life in construction. Uh, I, I truly see the benefit to, uh, honestly, uh, be, being in the metric system. However, we're not. Now, the big two numbers, and these are the ones that everyone gets all excited about. Harley-Davidson Pan America, 150 horsepower, 112 kW at nine thousand rpm versus the ducati multistrada which is 170 horsepower uh, 125 kw and that's at 10,500 rpm so about 1500 rpm more uh, to get to that 20 horsepower more as someone who has ridden both bikes i will definitely tell you that the Ducati has much more pep, much more get up and go. You know the horsepower is there. However, there's nothing wrong with the Harley. I think 150 horsepower for an uh, adventure touring bike, really adventure bike, is extremely reasonable. And it's more than adequate for just about anything. And it is a pretty darn quick bike. You'll get up to 100 miles an hour rather quickly. But... Um, it's certainly not going to beat out that uh, Multistrada with the V4. All right. Now, torque. Very comparable. 94 foot-pounds, 127 newton meters versus uh, 92 foot-pounds. Very compar comparable. However, what's really different here is that there's a 2,000 RPM range difference. Now, when you look at this with that 2,000 uh, RPM range difference, with Harley being 2,000 RPM lower... That makes sense because, hey, Harley is the low torque, you know, uh, motorcycle uh, manufacturer out there. So really no surprise. Uh, they're both fantastic uh, as far as the amount of horsepower that they provide. Don't see any issues with this. But again, um, through direct experience, you want a little more bang for the <laughs> bang for the for the boring stroke you're going to want to go with the ducati all right all right um both have six speed uh no quick shifter comes with the harley davidson pan american uh however they the dealer did tell me that one is available and they're going to check into it i'm not sure that it is if you know let us know post something down in the comments that there is a quick shifter available that could be uh modified that it's a I'd like to know if it's a Harley Davidson product that gets put in and is under warranty. Ducati, of course, is another six speed, but it has the up and down quick shifter. And if you haven't, if you didn't ride a bike yet with a quick shifter, please do. And you can say whatever you want. I'm going to be turning 56 years old here soon. I got my first bike when I was eight years old. Um, and I will tell you that the quick shifter has really spoiled me. And as much as you want to be... Um, you know, manly or 
however you want to put it and change gears with your uh, clutch, I, I really don't care. Um, my clutch is used for starting and stopping and everything in between is a quick shifter. So I love it. Um, okay. So final drive, they both go to chain and sprockets. I don't know the tooth counts. I actually do know the tooth count from Ducati. I couldn't find it for Harley. So I just didn't bother putting it in there. It's really, uh, not a big deal. The bottom line is that they're both chain and sprocket as far as that's concerned. Okay. Um, now let's look at the braking. Harley Davidson has radial mounted monoblocks with four piston calipers and on the rear they have a floating single piston kind of just like the Ducati. The Ducati had a little bit more specs available. They have two 330 millimeter semi floating discs. They are radially radially radial mounted Brembo M50s. Now, the Harley that I uh, rode it did have uh, Brembos on the front. Uh, I didn't look at the back. I forgot to look. Uh, but Ducati also has the four piston, two calipers, and had come standard with the cornering ABS. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out whether Harley comes with the cornering ABS or if it's an option because they had it written down as an option, but it's kind of confusing. And in the rear there's a, of the Ducati, there's a 265 millimeter disc with a Brembo two piston floating caliper and uh, also has the cornering ABS. <laughs> Now, chassis specs, um, I don't want to get too heavily involved with this one, just giving you, again, by the numbers, uh, Harley-Davidson 45-millimeter inverted adjustable, and they have semi-active damping. Ducati, a little beefier, 50-millimeter fully adjustable, and they have electronic compression and rebound. Basic, basically, everything is set through your TFT on the Ducati uh, Multistrada. Your rear suspension has linkage mounted mono shock. It's an automatic electric uh, electronic preload and it does have semi automatic compression and rebound whereas the Ducati Multistrada V4S the rear suspension is fully adjustable mono shock and it has electronic adjustment and it comes with the Ducati Skyhook suspension. Uh, really like it. A uh, lot of good feedback from both, but honestly, they were both extremely well riding machines. They were really great, great machines. Now, electronic specs. Eh, okay. Harley Davidson Pan America, 6.8 inch color TFT with touch control. Ducati, no touch control, 6.5 inch. So, pretty close. Again, TFT, and it comes with the Ducati Connect. Uh, with the Harley Davidson, they told me you can connect in with Apple uh, Play. I didn't put that up here. There are four riding modes um, in the Harley versus the five riding modes in the Ducati. And I can certainly see the reason for all five. I've gone over all five. You can check through my uh, YouTube page here and you'll find uh, uh, where I just went over the five different riding modes. They both have cruise control. However, uh, the Ducati currently has the adaptive radar on uh, the travel and radar models, uh, except in the United States, which is another bone of contention with me because it still hasn't been approved in the United States, even though many other uh, manufacturers of motorcycles and um, cars have been able to get theirs approved before they went to market. So a little, little bone of contention there. All right, safety specs. Let's look at those. Harley Davidson. It says it has standard cornering ABS. I'm assuming. I know that it has ABS. I don't know that it has standard cornering ABS. I'm going to assume that it does. Again, someone can maybe research this, or I just felt confused going through their website trying to find this information. It does have the adaptive cornering lights, which I did not know Harley Davidson did, especially the way that's built with that like rectangle front end for the lights. Uh, that are all LED, by the way, and it does have cruise control. Now, the Multistrada, you're going to pay a little bit more, but honestly, by the time you add in everything that you can with the Harley-Davidson, you're going to be up there at the same price as the Multistrada V4S. That's really the bottom line. They might say that they're starting out in the $19,000 range or the base range and, you know, it really 18000 but by the time you add everything in to try to get where you're already at with the Ducati Multistrada V4S, you're not going to have a really big difference in price. Now, overseas or in Europe and other places, uh, you might pay even more. Uh, 
for the Harley Davidson because of import taxes and issues. But let's look at the Ducati Multistrada V4S. It has the power modes uh, in addition to the riding modes and the power modes are adjusting your engine uh, response. So it has the ABS cornering automatically. It comes with Ducati traction control, which is fantastic. It also comes with Ducati wheelie control, which I still keep turning down as far, <laughs> really far. The next step for me is gonna turn it, turn it off, but uh, I'm not there yet. Does have the daytime uh, running, running lights on it uh, and has which are separate from the headlights and it has the Ducati cornering light just like the adaptive adaptive cornering light with the uh, Harley Davidson and this also has vehicle hold control which I got to tell you um, when you're just sitting at a stoplight instead of having to either use your right hand or your um, uh, right foot and constantly have it in place with that vehicle hold control it's really nice to pull up you know, at an angle, and instead of rolling back, just squeeze real hard on the front rear, on the front brake, and it, boom, you're just there. You, it, it locks in place for you, and you can take your feet and your hands off the bike all you want. So that really comes in handy. Um, so I think this is all that I'm going over for this. Uh, let's 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 keep moving and talk about a couple other things. So there you have it. Big difference between the two bikes. If you want that Harley Davidson name, well, then I guess you're gonna to have to buy the Harley. If you want the sexy Ducati, then this is the way to go. The more powerful, sexier bike, but uh, basically you're gonna be spending just about the same amount of money in the United States. So that's it. Thank you, listen, like, and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Help grow this channel a little bit and I'll start improving and increasing the amount of content I have. Uh, like I said in the last video, I have a full-time job, so I have to find time to do this. Again, this is Rainbow. Have a good day. Bye-bye.